Dave, got a girlfriend in the building, yeah? What well, made you come? We got a white girl. No, what's going no, on? No, no, <laughs> no. I can't. I can't do that, man. I'm so yo. I realize I am terrified of of black women. Like I've been hiding this non-black. Well, I haven't been hiding her, but that's what I'm saying. Like I am a bit worried about what black women are going to say because the, the backlash is brutal. And then, like <laughs> my ex was black, but at least I got black kids, so it, that count, right? I already. You know, mine's is beige. My son is beige. <laughs> oh, word! Yours is not. You, 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 lady, not black. My lady, she's black. I mean, some mother white, so she black, I guess, right? Her daddy, <laughs> her daddy, a daddy from Dominica. Right, right. Like he, if you ask the Ku Klux Klan, it would qualify as black. Me. So her father is. So her father I is. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Her, her father is, her father look like he plays conga drums. Yeah. Like he's yeah. black like that. Yeah. But it, but he got a British accent. So yeah. it's kind of wild. This thing is like, it is what it is. No, nah, no, nah, but she's Latina, man. She's half Puerto Rican, half Dominican. So, you know, it's a lot of plantains, a lot of rice. It's good. A lot, of, a lot of trauma. That's a lot of trauma. Both of them of together. Of <laughs> you know what? For them to not fuck with each other, they certainly do seem to fuck with each other a lot. You know what I mean? It's so ridiculous. Black man. people and Puerto Ricans? You no, put, black no, and Dominicans. Dominicans. Oh, <laughs> like, because it, it, it's not like you don't Hold see on. that. Do- First of all, let me say this. I'm, I don't like how you saying Dominican like a Dominican now. Now you're like Dominican. I know, right? No, I you just think, come on now. Don't I do this. Don't do this. Stop. Don't do this. Don't do that. Come on. But it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Like, I'm all that dumb shit now. Okay, look. <laughs> I went. I went by Dave's house. He's got a, a statue of David Ortiz in there now. It's, he's she's completely different. And the sad part is, I didn't know the difference for years. Like I didn't realize my my barber was Dominican. I thought he was Puerto Rican. I thought anybody that spoke Spanish was Puerto Rican. But we don't yo, have yo Andre. I got your next guest on on <laughs> Slouch Theory. Anybody that speaks Spanish is Puerto Rican. <laughs> So we didn't have Dominicans in Philly. That does that is not a thing in Philly. We no, had none. Puerto Ricans, and they was mostly f- like you know, like a f- yeah. There's a few Puerto Ricans. I don't know where they come from, but you know, we don't. Usually, usually from Puerto, from Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> nah. None of these Puerto Ricans have ever been to Puerto Rico. So not, uh, like, yeah, that's true. In all fairness <laughs> to Dave, there is a lot. There are a lot of Puerto Ricans who've never stepped yeah. foot. That's not true. That's a, no, no, no. That is true. That is Especially once amount. you start getting to the ones that in the landlocked states, like the ones in Pennsylvania, yeah, the ones that live in like Lancaster uh, and Reading and the Poconos. Like they, just just think they don't even need a passport. They got the they got that's, our passport. That's the great irony of it, though, because Dominicans, every one of them go back once a year. Yeah. I, mean, well, I, I, I dated a Dominican girl was and she she didn't speak a lot of English, but we could co- communicate. But because there was definitely like she wasn't well, she spoke English, at, but but just like it wasn't her, her first language. So a lot of times she would get mad at me and I didn't even understand what she was talking about. When she get mad, she was just like, bah, 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 bah. and I was like, oh, I don't even know why you mad. And so she would get frustrated because I didn't understand it. And then we would just make up because it was like, yo, she what would just f-? tap out. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I dated like- a girl who didn't speak English or her, her language wasn't English. And you do have like you only go like two rounds with them before you go. I don't I don't really understand I don't know what, what the it fuck is. You're and they, saying. Just, so, and they so just give up. So that's we couldn't great. fight because we couldn't communicate to fight. Plus, if you don't understand the nuance of the language, you don't know. You don't know how to do this slick shit, you know, the passive regret. Like you got to really be a This not going to work for Dave. His girl got Google Translate. <laughs> Would you take your Puerto Rican girlfriend to see a black play? Because, you know, the daggers in that, that shit is because they look at you with disgust and they look at her with vengeance. Yeah, man. <sighs> I, I'd have to put on I'd have to put on some shades, man, like some thick. <laughs> Some thick stunner shades and just like not look people in the eye and not let them see me quiver, man. <laughs> Either that or you'd have to pretend that you're Dominican too and do a lot of that. Hey, puppy, watch out. Okay, okay, papa, what you doing? Yeah, what you look doing? At this. Just, I'll go get me some curly shoes and some tight jeans. Yeah. Ah, take, take your socks off. Curly shoes, though. Dave, did you, you experience? I was dressing like Aladdin. <laughs> 
Did you, Dave, did you deal with that a lot, like uh, growing up or if you're dating outside your race that you get, get a lot of shit? Did you experience that? I had access that? to women outside my race before I came to New York, yo. Mm. Like, yo, dead ass. I had a conversation with, uh, not, I'm not even name dropping. I had a conversation with Michael Che about this a couple of years ago at a show when we was at this party and this girl is dancing. And I was just like, I wonder what's up with her, man. I'm all like, well, I wonder what her world is like. He was like, go talk to her. I'm like, nah, I don't talk to a girl like that. He was like, Dude, the world has changed, man. You can talk to whoever you want. You know what I mean? Like, who yeah. said that to you? Michael Che. Che said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Che, che got his white card a couple of years ago. <laughs> Very excited. You got to see. We were all excited yeah. about it to see him get initiated. I was, I was at the party, the celebration. I was, was gonna nice. throw a dinner, um, nice. but the COVID came. We couldn't. We were gonna throw a testimonial. Yeah. Che got he, his white card. He certainly made up for lost time. Let's just put it that way. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.